it's important to stay hydrated. Hey guys, so today I was doing some Warzy ZCT and just kind of not doing much else. I went to the zoo with a cousin who's in town and my family and stuff. But anyway, oh, I was doing some ZZCT. I've done about 1600 solves so far in the past couple weeks. And my best average of 1,000 right now is 18.691, but that's constantly going down. Best average of 50 is 15.589, average of 12, 14.842, average of 5, 11.803, best solve 8.584. Now I had another really good solve today, I can set it up for you. This was the last slot, last layer case, so I did um, this R, R, U2, R prime, but I noticed that this was going to be a J perm here. So I canceled the first, that R prime. So instead of just doing an R prime, I just went right on into the J perm. Uh, how does, how does a J perm work? I'm trying to do it mirrored. So yeah, I just canceled right into the J perm and saved myself a move. I could have actually saved two moves or if I executed the J perm with a different algorithm, I could have saved like four or five moves, but it was still all right. Every time I get a significant solve with ZZCT, I'll let you know about how I did it. Maybe that'll convince some of you that ZZCT is pretty good. The thing with fast solves like that is that there are so many other solves that could be easily just as good if my TTLL recognition were a little bit better, and it's getting there. I'm getting a lot faster at recognizing, but it's still not quite up to the speed with the PLLs. I also did about 15 solves one-handed today just to try it out. They were doing all right. I was getting like a low 20s average, probably could be sub 20 if I just practiced for like 50 solves. I don't know though, maybe not because my average of 1000 right now is like barely sub 19, so I don't know if I could really reasonably expect to get sub 20 one handed right now, but soon. Here's a question, how many of you are actually interested in me making a ZZCT tutorial, like a full tutorial um, showing off the algs that I use and things like that, and maybe talking about how I do intuitive or like slightly intuitive TSLE? How many of you are interested in something like that? Because I know that not most, like, the vast majority of people don't really care about ZZCT, but if there's a big enough group of you that are interested, I would maybe consider making something like that and posting it on Colorful Pockets, so just let me know in the comments what you would want to see in a ZZCT tutorial, because, like, the actual steps of the method would only take, like, a minute to explain, and then the rest is just algorithms, but I could give some tips on how to learn algs and how to, like, practice TSLE and things like that. So. Let me know what you want to see and if you want to see it so that I can know what to make. And guys, I've got another thing. I need your help. So I convinced my friend Jan to program a Twitter bot called Is It 2017 Yet? And then just tweet every hour whether or not it's 2017 yet. So I want all of you to go and follow that and like help retweet it and stuff because this is the greatest Twitter account ever. It's hilarious, you should check it out. I'll link to it in the description. Jan did all the work, but I told him to do it, so give me some credit too, you know? But yeah, honestly, that's about it for my day. I've still got some work to do on College App stuff tonight, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, I appreciate your feedback. Hopefully I'll get a lot of that on this video, and hopefully you check out that Twitter account. I'll see you tomorrow.